I'm Carrie Doerr. I'm a part-time faculty member at Marist College in Poughkeepsie, New York. I work in St. Kitts, which is a small island in the Caribbean near St. Martin and St. Bart's sister island is Nevis. Together they are a federation, so a former British colony that has become independent in 1983. The work that I do is I look at the conflict between mostly farmers but also just conditions in general and the invasive African green vervet monkey which arrived in St. Kitts in the 1600s probably as a result of the slave trade, merchants bringing pets and slaves from West Africa. The research that I did looked at the problem with monkeys. I mean, most conditions call it the monkey problem. I studied the monkey problem looking at the animal's behavior indirectly through the crop damage that they left behind. Um, St. Kitts was a sugar producing island up until 2005 and at that point when the sugar industry closed, a lot of infrastructure, tractors and far, um, people working on the sugar estates and rangers who were employed to protect the estates no longer was keeping monkeys in the forested interior of the island. So pre-2005, people really didn't see monkeys, and since that time, the monkeys have come out of the mountain, mostly because nobody's pushing them in, but also because they've run out of food in the mountain. And so now, you see monkeys everywhere. You see them in the villages and downtown. They're getting hit by cars. And so basically, I found that, you know, something I never expected to study, the sugar industry has played a huge role in the interconnections between humans and primates. First I want to do a population estimate to kind of prove that the monkey population is out of control, which I do believe it is, but then I think we need to systematically either call monkeys or um, sterilize monkeys in areas where they're going to have the biggest impact and help farmers. Um, so I want to kind of play a role in the overall management and do it in a responsible way, in a scientific way, and in a, use an experimental approach to say, you know, these areas, test them before and after some of these mitigation measures. So controlling monkey numbers, protecting farms, and maybe diverting the monkeys to other areas by providing them alternative food. Um, I found that during the mango season in St. Kitts, monkeys don't do as much crop damage. So when they have something else to eat, they're not hurting the farmers as much. So we need to kind of use my data and just kind of an overall scientific approach to help the farmers grow the food that they want and sustain themselves. So work with the government, um, do a scientific population estimate, and sort of prove to the world that St. Kitts is having one of the worst problems with monkeys in the world. You're watching the Boaz Network.